Hi, my name is Luca Rendsburg and I will give you a short overview of our paper Discovering Inductive Bias with Gibbs Priors, a Diagnostic Tool for Approximate Bayesian Inference. This is joint work with Agostinus Christiadi, Philipp Hennig and Ulrike von Luxburg. So, in a usual Bayesian setting, prior and likelihood explicitly specify the inductive bias of inference based on the exact posterior. But in practice, it is often infeasible to compute the posterior exactly, and one has to revert to approximations instead. But using approximations can change the inductive bias in uncontrollable ways. So the main idea of our paper is to recover this inductive bias by treating the approximations as exact posteriors and then reverse engineering the corresponding implicitly used prior. To make this a bit more explicit, um, here's some notation. We call the observations y, the latent variables theta, the likelihood f, and the posterior approximations q. Now, the most direct way of reverse engineering this implicit prior is by going to Bayes' formula and using the approximations in place of the true posterior and then simply rearranging for the prior. By doing so, we get the distributions pi y but sadly, these distributions generally depend on the observation y that we use to compute them. However, we want an observation independent distribution so that we can actually think of it as the a priori preference for solutions or the prior. So this means we somehow need to compromise between these pi y. And the way we do this is by looking at the situation from a conditional distribution perspective that is, we are given two conditional families on the joint space of latent variables theta and observations y, namely the likelihood f going from theta to y and the posterior approximations q going back from y to theta. And what we want is the theta marginal of the corresponding distri uh, distribution um, that is implicitly defined by these conditionals because in a Bayesian setting, this theta marginal is exactly the prior. Now, a standard way to access a distribution if we only know its conditionals is pseudo-Gibbs sampling. And pseudo-Gibbs sampling is defined um, or defines a Markov chain by alternatingly sampling from these two conditionals. And the stationary distribution of this Markov chain is then exactly this joint distribution. So in our setting, we start with any latent variable theta1 and then simply alternatingly sample from the corresponding likelihood and then sample from the corresponding posterior approximation. And if we continue this, then we will arrive at the stationary distribution, which is exactly our implicitly used prior. And we call this distribution the Gibbs prior. And note that to get to this Gibbs prior, we only need to be able to sample from the approximations, but we don't need to know the density itself. So to give a toy example of what this looks like, on the left, we have some posterior distribution in blue, which is approximated by some approximation in red. And this approximation is a bit off, as we can see, but instead of characterizing the difference directly on the posterior level, we pull it back to the prior level on the right side. Uh, there, we have the explicitly chosen prior in blue, which corresponds to the unknown posterior. And now we also have the implicitly used prior, our Gibbs prior in red, which corresponds to the approximation based on which we are actually doing inference. So if we want to know the inductive bias of using this approximation, we can simply look at the Gibbs prior. Or if we want to know how the inductive bias changed based on the approximations, we can compare it to the original prior. For example, in this case, we see that the posterior approximation is more biased towards solutions of small norm and this reflects in the Gibbs prior, which is also more biased towards solutions of small norm compared to the original prior. So to summarize, we present the Gibbs prior as a diagnostic tool for approximate Bayesian inference. And this tool is easy to implement and widely applicable. So if you're curious and want to know more, please have a look at our paper.